Good morning, everybody, from the grasslands of southeastern Colorado. Today, we are out here with our good buddy, Ryan. Um, we're gonna be trying to flip some snakes. We've got some great weather for the day. Um, it's gonna be pretty temperate down here this weekend, so it should be at least decent for flipping. Um, so we're gonna get at it. It's about nine o'clock, still a little chilly. And as you can probably hear, it's pretty windy, um, but it's gonna be a good day. So we're gonna get started flipping and hopefully we start seeing snakes soon. All right, well, we've been here about 15 minutes and Ryan just flipped one of my favorite snakes in southeastern Colorado. This is a ground snake and a really neat looking one. We've seen these in a lot of videos, but um, I don't think we've ever got one that looked quite like this. Usually these guys are like orange or white with some black banding, but this one has a single band around the neck, which is a uh, phenotype that does show up, but then he's got this like, he's got a stripe down the back and these weird stripes that go down the side. Real cool snake. Um, also a really common snake here, so um, I'm just going to turn him loose. We're going to keep flipping. Um, I'm positive we'll see more of these this weekend so I'm just gonna return them where we found them and we will keep moving all right next find of the day Ryan flipped this gorgeous male collared lizard here who's very grumpy with us Ryan and I found one of these last year um, in a different general area from where we are now but these guys are one of my favorite lizards the one we saw last year was a lot more attractive than this one but this one's certainly not bad looking by any means awesome lizards one of the most charismatic lizards we have in the state of Colorado. So um, we're just gonna release him, keep moving. Um, we might end up switching spots here uh, pretty shortly. It's not looking very good right here, so we're gonna get to a new spot. All right, well, shortly up from where we found that collared lizard, maybe, I don't know, 100 yards, Ryan flipped another ground snake. This one, much more typical looking, um, and he's actually sitting really nice. Usually these guys are a tremendous pain to photograph, but this guy's been pretty good for us. Um, they do come nicer than this. They'll, you'll get them like, you know, bright orange down to red and um, all sorts of shade, shades in between. This guy's a pretty typical looking one though. Still nice. Ryan and I have been taking photos of him for a minute here. So um, we're going to keep doing that for just a little while longer, release him on his way and we'll keep moving. Just a little ways up this habitat and I just flipped two more ground snakes. These guys are Super cool, one of my favorite snakes, but we're probably gonna see a ton of them. So um, with the not spectacular ones or the ones without cool patterning or whatever, um, I'm not gonna take too much time to talk about them. I'm just gonna take a moment to release them back under their rock and we'll keep on. Just a little ways up from that Sonora. He's neat. God, I love the way that looks, dude. All right, well, literally 10 steps from where I flipped the two ground snakes Ryan flipped another collared individual really cool to see so many of those guys here one more ground snake pretty similar looking to the rest he does have a cool stripe on him but just gonna release him no surprise here another Sonora this one has a pretty cool stripe going down his neck there pretty cool another Sonora all right gonna release him See you, buddy. All right, so we've got another ground snake here. Um, this is going to be a pretty ground snake intensive video, but um, you really wouldn't know it if you just saw this video. But this phenotype with the no banding and just the one collar around the neck is not super common. It's not rare per se, but I've never seen more than one in a day, and I think this is number three or four. So um, pretty cool, but we're just going to release them. Next snake of the day. It's been actually our longest gap between snakes, about five minutes. Tantilla right here, a plains, black-headed snake. Uh, these guys are pretty inconspicuous. I'm sure we'll see more of them when we move south later. But yep, just Tantilla. Sure as anything, another collared ground snake. We're definitely up above 10 right now. What's crazy is the conditions aren't even good, aren't even that good right now. If it was as wet as it was last year, we would be swimming in these right now. Anyways, always great to see these guys, especially when you see so many that have that collar. This one's got some cool coloration that you don't typically, well, it's pretty typical color. It's just a shade that I guess I've never really noticed before. It looks pretty nice. So just gonna release them. Literally as I released that last ground snake, Ryan flipped another pretty typical looking one. Good stuff, man. We're having a good day out here. All right, next snake for the day is a super familiar face for anybody who has this lighting. Next find of the day, I flipped under a rock. This is a night snake. One of the most ever-present snakes through most 
of the western and especially the southwestern United States. But in Colorado, this is actually a pretty good find. These guys are restricted to pretty much just southeastern Colorado. And then there's a different species that's present on the west slope. Um, this is actually one of two snakes in eastern Colorado I didn't get the chance to see last year, um, which is pretty cool. Um, these guys usually are kind of seen as a trash snake, but out here um, I do enjoy finding them there. These guys are probably the least common of the fossorial snakes that we have, um, so it's always good to see them. And I, I just, I, I like them a lot. They're nice looking snakes out here. Um, they're just unusual, very cool, those, you know, cat eyes, everything about these guys is cool. So, um, very happy to have seen one of these today, but we are just going to release him and we are going to keep on moving. All right, well, it's probably been about an hour or two since you've seen me. Ryan and I stopped in town to get lunch and then we came down into the canyon lands to move into a new area. And just as we got down here, spotted this beautiful Texas horn lizard. I thought he ran under my tire, but uh, this guy got lucky he didn't get hit. They uh, tend to sit in the road until the last second and then they'll run one way or the other and it's really easy to hit them. So really glad that didn't happen. Um, we're going to escort him off the road. I'm actually going to hike him back into this habitat. These guys have a lot of uh, road mortality going on and uh, it's always good to avoid that when possible. So I'm going to hike him probably a quarter mile in there. We'll release him and we will continue on our way.